Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm right on my hands. It's G.I. Joe, a real American hero, at number 301. It's written by Larry Hama, art by Chris Mooneyham, coloring by Francesco Sagala, lettering by Pat Brousseau. Um, all right, so G.I. Joe and Transformers is coming to Skybound, known as the Energon Universe. This is an interesting aspect of that. It is a continuation of the classic series that started off at Marvel, went to IDW. I don't know, don't know if it was anywhere in between Marvel and IDW. Uh, and is now at Skybound. It's continuing the numbering and continuing the storyline. So I don't believe this is actually part of the Energon universe as a whole. Um, it feels like it's something that might be separate from that. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we're, we're going to go with this is not part of the... Energon Universe, and this is just the continuation of Larry Hama's awesome run. Historic run. Pretty amazing run. Uh, as you said, it was 1982, Hama says that he wrote the first issue of J.I. Joe, um, and it's been, you know, 40, 41 years later. Um, and he's, you know, continuing it, so which I think is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah, the issue, issue is interesting. So, if you've been reading the IDW run you'll be happy with it. Like, it's a solid continuation of that. If you wanted to go and just start with a real American hero, um, you're probably going to sit there and say, what the hell? It's, it's, it is the second part that was the first part of issue number 300. My, my, my issue with, problem with issue 300 was it ended and didn't really resolve anything. Like, we knew the series was going to end. We had no idea if it would ever come back. Um, and it just kind of, like was hanging out there. It really felt like a to-be-continued that uh, was for a next season. We didn't know if this season would ever come. This is the next season. Uh, picking things up, and I think it's a great way of really kind of looking at it and describing it. It continues the storyline, uh, and the storyline is this. Uh, Cobra's had a casino. Um, I don't know that whole aspect of it. Uh, and Serpentor and Dr. Mindbender are up to no good. Um, G.I. Joe has kind of assaulted the casino. They've captured Cobra Commander. And at this point, Serpentor is just going insane and is going to uh, set off a bomb that's going to turn people into zombies. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because the bomb doesn't seem to be going anywhere beyond the island. So it's going to catch him. It's going to catch the people on the island. Probably not going to catch G.I. Joe members. So the whole kind of I'm going to set off this bomb to like screw everyone doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But whatever. So the whole thing is, can G.I. Joe get away from the bomb? The answer is going to be yes. Like, we know they're going to get away from this bomb. Um, Surprendor should know that they should get away from the bomb. They're going to get away from the bomb. Well, whatever. But what's cool is the comics has this really nice, tense countdown aspect to it. There's whatever, like 15 minutes before the bomb goes off, we get the whale, I think that's what the, the boat's called, um, like speeding away, trying to, to outrun whatever this explosion's going to be. And then we got Wild Bill and Duke in this, uh, I guess it's AC-130, um, flying and trying to get away with that. They're having all sorts of problems. Like, you know, you can... And, and what's, I think, really great story-wise, art-wise, like you can feel the tension. Like when Wild Bill and Duke are like pulling the joystick, the, the, I guess joysticks, the sticks to like level up the plane. Like you feel that like the the energy that they're doing to try to make this happen. To me, that's really really cool. Like this is a solid action film, and you're like sitting there, kind of like gripped, not knowing what's going to happen. We know GI Joe's going to like they're, the bomb's not going to go off and catch everyone and like transform everyone. That would be a hell of a change. Um, Though maybe it would set off a storyline where the survivors need to go find the cure or something like that. All right, that would, that would kind of be a possibility. But generally, we know they're going to get away. It's, the question is how. Uh, but even with that, you are still got that tension of just like, oh, pull up the plane, pull up the plane, go a little faster with the boat, go a little bit faster with the boat. Um, and then we get a little bit of tragedy as well. Someone dies uh, during this. It's a really, really solid issue. And I, I got to give props to Chris Mooneyham's art. Like, I love this art style more than the, what we were getting at IDW. And it's not to knock what was at IDW. Uh, but I just really think there's, like, a grittiness that fits G.I. Joe way better here than anywhere else. We get, we get a nice, quick introduction as to where things are at. And we dive right into the action. Um, you can see the, the countdown here. It's not even 15 minutes. It's like three minutes. Um, you can see the countdown here, which is really, really cool. And just that, like, bouncing around what's going on all over to uh, to try to escape. I mean, like, that's this right here is just such a awesome yeehaw. Like, you feel it. Like, it's just a 
hell yeah. Like, to me, I got that vibe, like I got in G.I. Joe, the animated film. Um, you know, there's quite a few, like, F yeah moments, like, fuck yeah moments, and that this issue has those moments. Like, you know things are going to turn out well, you, you know it's going to rock, but at the same time, you're just like, like, yeah! It's just kicks things off and, and does it really, really well. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where this all goes. You know, obviously, I don't think it's part of the Energon universe, so how it's going to differ, where it's going to deviate, and what it's going to allow you to do, I think is going to be really intriguing. I'm loving Mooneyham's art, so I'm, I'm really pumped about this overall. So so my general take is, if you've been reading up to this point with IDW, it's just, this is the part two you've been looking for. If you want to get into the series, I'm, yeah, you can, I guess. Like, it's not a horrible thing to start, but you, you might sit there and be like, what's going on? Um, so getting the, like, the previous trade, I don't know if a trade ever came out, but at least the previous issues, might help you a lot to kind of figure out exactly what's going on. Uh, and where things stand. But overall, like, really cool issue. Um, I'm, I'm glad to see it coming back. Um, and I'm, I'm actually kind of think it's really cool of how they're continuing it. Like, they're not rebooting. They're doing, like, they really are. This is the part two of of that issue, uh, of that storyline. So, um, cool, cool, cool. Uh, great art, cool story. Like, th this is the G.I. Joe I want. Like, this, this, there's just an F, yeah, rock and roll aspect to this. You can go get it. It is out in comic shops. We've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so you get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site. So thank you for that. Just watch your video. Support us. So again, thank you. If you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.